there are so many reasons why people cannot physically transition. And yet, like you said, people will look down on that and say, well, they're not really trans. They're not, they're not trans enough because if they really were trans and they really wanted to be a man and they really felt like they were a man, then they would do everything in their possible, in their, in their, within their power to change everything about themselves to be a man. But they, but that person is a man or that person is a woman, regardless of what their physical looks like. And so I think one, it's hypocritical to sit here and say, well, you can't, you know, you have to gender me correctly and you have to do this and you have to do that, you know, to make me feel better. But I'm going to sit there and shit on the next person and say, well, they're not doing this. So they're not good enough either. They're not trans enough either. And, that, and also projecting your standards on the other people. Like, I think it's just a negative thing to create expectation for yourself. You know, that's just something, you know, it's going to be hard to live up to these very high standards that you have that are based on cisgender people but also projecting that to your community is just so damaging you know you don't you know a lot of a lot of the times it's nice to talk to other trans people because they can relate to your perspective but you know if you're being looked down upon by somebody that you feel has the same experience as you that's very damaging you know and and it's it's tough it's very tough because it's just like I've seen people, like you are saying on TikTok, just bashing other people. I've seen other trans guys like make videos about things that help them alleviate their dysphoria, but be like, um, yeah, you know, this, this, you know, pack, so for example, it was a guy talking about, um, he was talking about a packer and he was talking about uh, pack and play and how it's helped his dysphoria a lot. He's like, yeah, you know, this is what, this is, I actually have like a, something that actually looks like a real dick. You know, I don't have a purple dildo or whatever, you know, in my draw and stuff like that. And it's just like, and he's like, oh yeah, I didn't waste money on bottom dis on bottom uh, surgery for a penis that doesn't work. And it's like this, like shaming other people for the methods that make them feel comfortable or may be available to them, is such a fucked up thing to do because it's just like the this is where this person is in their life. Every that's the thing. The journey of being trans is is so is a very personal and introspective experience for you to compare your experience and make it seem like it's better or it works better, you know, for someone else, it, it doesn't fit. It's not going to always fit.